Hi, everybody. Great to be with you again today, and uh, so glad that you were with us this last weekend when we were talking about the whole issue of resolving marital conflict. I just have loved this study of the Song of Solomon and be able to present these practical principles, uh, principles that we all need, any of us who are in any relationship, but especially those of us who are married. And one of the things that I just didn't have time to get into in this whole area of conflict is the uh, it is the reality that there's some problems that just seem so complex that a lot of people just think we ought to quit and start over. I've had people come into my office who have asked me essentially, is working at this problem really worth it? Where there have been a, a constant fighting, where there has been a, a deception, where there has been a, just a whole uh, a mix mashing of, uh, of character flaws, and sometimes relationships just seem like they just would be better to stop and start over. Is there ever a circumstance in your mind where that would be true? Uh, you have some questions to talk about in your small group, and I'm wondering, are there any conflicts that are so severe that you would simply say, we can't deal with it, the problem is too deep, it's too significant, just quit and start over? Is there ever a situation that that's allowed? What do you think about it? Maybe you've had some experiences with that, maybe even in a, a relationship of your own. So as you go through these questions, I really want to encourage you. These small groups are designed to be a place where we can be honest with ourselves and with others. And in a, a mutual commitment of confidentiality and support, I'll work through these questions. See if there isn't some way that you can encourage each other. One thing that we know for sure, marriage was designed by God to be a perfect picture of the Trinity itself. God the Father in relationship with God the Son in relationship with God the Holy Spirit, best pictured in God's relationship with a husband and a wife, a triunity, if you will. And that's the reason why marriage is under such constant attack from the evil one. He wants to destroy the image of God, and the best image that we have is that of marriage. So if you're under attack, know this, there's a spiritual component to it. And ask others to pray for you, interact and confront your, your conflicts with those principles that we talked about, and share with each other and encourage each other to stay true so that husbands and wives together, that we can bring honor and glory to the Lord. And that's really the bottom line of it all. We're to honor God by living like Jesus. So enjoy your time together and your questions. May the Lord bless you. I'll look forward to Lord willing to be back with you next week. I'm Bob and this is my wife Kathy and we've been married for 42 years. We'll be 43 in August and we moved down to San Diego area in 2008. At times we would get lazy in our marriage. Uh, we didn't work at it uh, and so we became, uh, the default would be we were more like roommates rather than couples. Um, so we were amiable but we weren't really digging in for the good of each other always. As an introvert, I have to listen, and then I have to share. Um. And I have to learn to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to learn that every thought that comes in my head does not necessarily have to come out of my mouth. <laughs> for more years than I care to remember, I was a whiner and a complainer in the home. and. He didn't get after me, but I was getting pretty good at it. And then I happened to read a book called 1,000 Gifts and started a gratitude list, which I do every day. And that has really changed everything. And it made me realize all those times of whining and complaining and try to get him to understand did absolutely nothing. From the very beginning, we were both confident that we were committed uh, to stick this out, no matter what happened. Um, that, that we could get through anything um, because God indwelled us. And so that was, uh, that was the bedrock. And I think that's real important as a bedrock for, uh, for our marriage and for any marriage.